This segment of Packer Pokes At was made possible by patrons of the show and viewers like you. Please go to patreon.com slash Packard Pokes At to help support the show. Thank you. A New York appellate court says a man cannot seek damages for burns he suffered while bowing his head in prayer over a sizzling steak fajita served at a restaurant, which happened to be Applebee's. Now, the guy, he got a, f- a hot plate, and he starts, he sticks his face over the food to pray, and the next thing he says, he hears a pop, and a large, a loud sizzle followed by a grease pop. He then felt a burning sensation in his eye, his left eye, and on his and on his face. He said, "Then the man panicked and knocked the food onto his lap, causing more burns. But the burns didn't cause any scarring. Now the thing is here, he said because the waitress didn't say the food was hot, therefore he could sue. He's trying to pull oh a McDonald's. God. He's trying to pull a McDonald's with a hot coffee, basically." You know, the thing is here, they're saying, you know, you, you're the one to suck your face over a hot meal. You knew going in that you get your face near something hot. If you get too close, you're going to get burned. That's just plain stupidity. And, then, of course, this is in New Jersey. I mean, if this was Florida, but a different story, but it's New Jersey. What can I say? Florida, he would have been wearing a thong. If he was... <laughs> Joe, your thoughts. If your God existed, then how come he didn't save you from the food you're thanking him I for? I said exactly that at the staff meeting, actually. <laughs> Why didn't God say, hey, you're getting a little too close? No, he, he actually got his way. To, let's see how this plays out. <laughs> like, I don't know what religion this guy is, but if you believe in Satan, then clearly Satan is cooking in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> or it's Hades or whatever, whatever religion he's into. Yeah. <laughs> Like, ah, we'll show him. <laughs> this sizzling fajita is going to be really hot. <laughs> and those those fajitas at Applebee's, you ever been to Applebee's, Packard? I, I've gone to Applebee's quite a few times. Yeah, what, you get the fajitas? No, I, I guess. Oh, like, really? Yeah, I get They like, come yeah. out in like a cast iron griddle. Yes, I've gotten stuff like that. in a wooden cradle, because, and mm-hmm. the wooden cradle is, is scorched because mm-hmm. it's had so many fajitas in it. <laughs> and it's sizzling. When they put it down on the table, it's like you can hear it. Like there's steam coming off of it. Like you, you don't want to put your face anywhere near that. No. And even though the waitress, like they've always warned me because I get fajitas a lot yeah. at mm. movies. I like them. Uh, they've always warned me like, oh, be careful. This is really hot. Like even if they didn't say that because it is so loud and there is bellows of steam coming off of it i know <laughs> don't stick my face next to it <laughs> like i know not to touch it yeah the first thing i do is grab all the cheese and throw it on there i'm like yeah let that shit melt yeah <laughs> you know this is soda this... or finish my salad if, like, any, if <laughs> i'm any... gonna take my face and put it like inches away <laughs> if anything he should have sued his mother for not teaching him things are hot don't go near that <laughs> very very hot 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 very hot hurts Hot. Pain. Hot. Don't put face near hot things. <laughs> you know, I, 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 we go to this other restaurant, not just Applebee's, but we go to this other restaurant every once in a great while. We go What's it called? Rocky Rococo's. And they, when you, if you sit down to a meal out there, they have a big pan of pizza that just come out of the oven, so you know it's hot. And inside, the, the, it's a steel pan, but it's inside a plastic tray, so it doesn't, you know, burn the table and you don't get burned by you know, being in close contact to it. But I mean, I'm, I'm several inches away from this thing and <laughs> I can still feel the heat from that. So, the, the, and, and it's even though it's in this pan and everything, I'm like, I, I just recently we were out there like about my daughter and I were out there about a month ago. I'm like sticking my, the, the scooper in there to grab the, the uh, piece of pizza, pizza out. Some of the cheese fell down in slid down onto the steel pan and it starts sizzling. I'm like, okay, <laughs> So I, I, when I heard hot, uh, hot. when Very I read hot. this, when I read this, I'm thinking I stink in that cheese going. <laughs> Joe, your thoughts. I already gave my thoughts. Oh, I'm sorry. Connie, your thoughts. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, if you like beef strip fajitas, be careful, hot plate. Yeah. Okay. First of all, first of all, this is what God was doing. 
It was an act of God because God knew that he was lusting after that Applebee's waitress and all of her flair on her suspenders. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And that's why he, he put out his eye because it's better that you, you know, enter heaven without an eye than not enter heaven at all. <laughs> and the if, fact if, that he knocked, the, the guy knocked the fajita into his lap is a further proof of his <laughs> lustful thoughts. He was having lustful thoughts of that fajita. That's right. And so they're putting the fire out. They're burning, they're burning the, you know, it's a burning, a hunk of hunk of burning love where it belonged. So I, I say, you know, maybe God does exist because... It's kind of proof of that, but I'm obviously <laughs> joking. So we had a couple. Co say. We had a couple comments from the chat room. Talking primate says sizzling for Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he he said it was a burnt offering. So oh, it's Tavar and uh, steak for a night. <laughs> yeah, he, he also said thank you, Lord, for this food that is about to burn me. So. <laughs> you know, if he's somebody who ordered fajitas, then he knows what they are. Yeah. It's not like, gee, fajitas, that sounds good, whatever that is. It comes out ice cold. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. You know, he's been, he's, if he's, if you, like you, Joe, he's gone there before. He likes the fajitas, and he's had them before, so he knew that they was hot. The fact that he already <clears throat> knew that this was hot, right. he has no leg to stand on. And I'm glad that they, they ruled against this dickhead. Oh, well, he has one less I, leg. Oh, they ruled on. against him? They, they threw out his case? Yeah, that's what it says here, yeah. Okay, because um, I'm reminded of a, a case that this uh, Hindi guy brought against Taco Bell. And uh, Hindu people, they're not allowed to eat beef. Mm -hmm. And he ordered bean burritos and in the drive-thru. And when he got, you know, he, he went through the drive-thru, he got to where he was going, he pulls out the burrito, he takes a bite, and it was beef. It wasn't bean, right? Uh-huh. They made a mistake. It happens. He then tr sued Taco Bell to send him and his wife back to India to be spiritually cleansed. What? He wanted the full airfare oh and hotel stay. Oh, my God. And everything because they violated his religion. And he's like, this is ridiculous. I can't <sighs> believe they did this to me. And it's like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> wow. Exactly. Exactly. Wow. Like, like oh, okay. Like, all you have to do now is claim that, like, you know. <laughs> like... It, like if, if uh, you you're know, I'm gonna, I'm sensitive gonna, to it, I'm gonna try. Pull it uh, you open know, before you take a bite out of it. <laughs> I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go to Taco Bell down the road. I'm gonna say, oh, you, you served me Hawa uh, Hawaiian something without me knowing about it. So now I have to go to Hawaii to be cleansed. So yeah, you got to pay exactly. all the airfare to go you to need, Hawaii. You need to pay for my vacation. <laughs> I mean, spiritual cleansing. 